Hey boys and girls, it's Tuesday, so what does that mean? We're back again for our second episode of Test Equipment Tuesday. Today we're going over something that's simple, but honestly very important in the whole test equipment process, manufacturing process, and just really attention to detail. What is that? Adapter plates. Adapter plates, like I said, are a very simple concept, but building off of our last video, which if you haven't seen, we posted on our YouTube channel, we went over the ANV 126 Alpha by Hoffman Engineering. So building off that, that video that we did, we're going into our second video over adapter plates. Like we said in the first video, the ANV 126 Alpha is the baseline for all of the test equipment, for the most part, that we use. This is the foundation, it's really the, the core of what we use, and everything else is kind of added onto it or works off of it in conjunction. So let's dive into it. What is an adapter plate? An adapter plate is simply a plate that is an adapter that sits on the Hoffman, like this, over the optics ports, where inside of here we have reticles and different tools that we can use to calibrate goggles, test goggles, and all of that. So we have these adapter plates for every system and they are designated um, straight for a specific system. So for instance, right here, we have a PBS 31 Alpha adapter plate. We have a ANVIS adapter plate and then a simple PBS 14 adapter plate. And what we've got on the Hoffman now is an adapter plate for any goggle that uses PBS 14 uh, glass. So what does the adapter plate do? This lets us put specific goggles on the Hoffman and really cut down on any external light. So we put the adapter plate on and using this RNVG, as an example, we're able to sit the RNVG down on the Hoffman at a very specific distance from the reticles so we get accurate testing. So what does that mean to you as a customer? That means that when we build, maintain, or service your goggle, you know that there was no level of equipment error in this based on divergence from distance from the optical, um, from the output inside the system, the reticle, anything of that nature. Also what this lets us do is have a perfect light seal. So we're actually able to work in a non-dark adapted room. And what's nice about that is when we're working, you know as a customer that there's no chance that light is getting in and hitting your tubes. So if you're purchasing new tubes and putting the investment in, as, as you should and as you should care about these details, which is one of the main reasons that we're doing this series is things like light leakage, that can come in and even though slight, it could have an impact on the overall quality. It could put a slight shadow burn in the tubes, things that other people might play off as, oh, that's just from manufacturing of the tube. But in reality, they didn't have the proper test equipment to, to give it the due diligence and do it properly. So us having these adapter plates really gives us the edge to nail down all the variables and get a solid foundation for us to work. Because when we're working on these goggles, if these are not able to be stationary in an objective manner, then we aren't able to do our job as technicians to then come in and do what needs to be done to the goggle. So really pretty simple, but ultimately provides the foundation for everything else that we're gonna go over in future videos to add on to this because like a house, if you don't have a good foundation, then you really aren't gonna have the integrity of anything that you're doing. So what's nice is, is we invest in all of our test equipment, like we said, so we have a lot of adapters and things that um, other people haven't had access to. So a perfect example of that is our adapter plate that we use for uh, DTMBS and RNVGs. So this adapter plate is designed around a binocular goggle with PVS 14 goggles and PVS 14 optics, I'm sorry. And what's cool about this is we actually work directly with Hoffman Engineering to have this uh, manufactured and engineered. So until we had worked with them that this, this adapter plate did not exist and uh, people were using ANVIS plates to really make it work. And the problem with that is, as you can see, if say we put this on here, and I'm not gonna screw it down, these goggles will sit much lower down on the optics. So that perfect, that perfect fit is now broken. Also, you're going to have to lift up the goggles to be able to manipulate them, set focus, and all those things. So even as something as simple as an adapter plate really does make a difference in the overall product that you're getting. So like we said in the beginning of the video, it's simple, it's straight to the point, but adapter plates are kind of that next step um, in, the, in the foundation, if you want to call it 
of the Hoffman AMV 126 Alpha, we invest in all of our plates. We're using specific plates for all of our systems, and you can rest assured if it is a product that you get from us that we have taken out all the variables that can be taken out to give you the best product that's available. So. This is our second video in Test Equipment Tuesday. If you haven't tuned in before, check out the first video on the Hoffman a and 126 Alpha. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and let us know what you think in the comments. Have a good one.